guys, first off, congratulations on your new uh, season, season six, part one. And thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Right, thank you. you. So I'm going to start with Josh. Uh, when I started watching Cobra Kai, um, I, it wasn't on another streaming service. And I subscribed. I loved it. And I was curious to know, did you ever think you were going to get this far as in the series, six years, uh, and ending the whole story in season six? And how do you feel knowing now that similar to Johnny and his dojo, his little little small dojo, uh, started uh, small and then grew up and it's, uh, Cobra Kai is embraced around the world now? We hoped this would happen. Uh, you can never predict, um, you know, how that happens and if it will deliver upon your dreams. But if you uh, go back and look at even some of the interviews we gave while season one and two were in process, we talked about um, our dream and our plans for a six or seven uh, episode arc for this series. Uh, and that's exactly six where seasons. six or seven uh, seasons. Um, that's exactly where we uh, ended up, you know, with 15 episodes for season six. It's kind of right between six and seven seasons. Um, you know, you can never predict where this show is going, you know, for a moment when our show began, uh, YouTube Red and then YouTube Premium uh, was going to take on uh, Netflix and be the Netflix killer. And then, um, you know, pretty swiftly after that, they got out of <laughs> scripted content. Yeah. So, uh, but, it, but it gave us the, you know, the creative energy to be able to tell this very untraditional story um, in the very early goings. You know, if you look at our first episode, yeah. um, there's, there's hardly any Daniel in it, and that's by design. It's meant to reorient the audience uh, toward having some empathy for Johnny and then bring in Daniel. And we told this very slow, very deliberate story in the, the first couple of episodes to, to lead up to these kids that by the time you care about them, you've met them through these legacy characters. Um, and being able to do that was the gift of starting um, at a platform that was willing to just give us, you know, the ultimate creative uh, control. And then moving over to Netflix, poured all kinds of jet fuel on yeah. this property and to be able to be in this position where it's a worldwide phenomenon is uh it's it's the it's the culmination of the dream but uh it's you know probably beyond our actual like realistic expectations and i think it worked out perfectly <laughs> uh john and and hayden uh i wanted to ask you about segue to that the decision between uh behind uh deciding and sitting down with Netflix and saying, we're going to finish it in six. Because it reminds me of Lost, one of my all-time favorite shows back then. And back then, and, and, and how important was it for you guys to sit down and say, we're going to do this. It's going to be in six, uh, not seven, not, not eight, not five. Uh, I want to know a little bit about why on, on six and three parts. And then Hayden, uh, one of the things I really enjoy about this show is, is what you've done with the whole Karate Kid films, the legacy and the mythology. For example, the whole Mr. Miyagi character how you've paid respect, but also expanded and deepened the, the mythology and legacy behind this character and the films. And so are we going to see more of that on season uh, six, part one? Yeah. So, you know, to start off there, you know, we knew from the beginning that we were hoping to do six or seven seasons of the show. And after finishing season five, we felt like, okay, we're coming in for a landing. And, you know, you all, you always like to be able to, to finish a series you know, knowing that you're entering the final season of the show. So we sat down with Sony and Netflix and we talked about, you know, we don't, we have more than 10 episodes to tell, probably don't need to necessarily do two full seasons more. And we came up with this number of 15 together that felt like the right amount of episodes for us to do as one sort of supersized final season. And once we all agreed upon that, it was, it was great in the writer's room to know that you're writing towards an end. You know, we had, you know, ends for Johnny and Daniel in mind before we ever had a writer's room in season oh. one. And a lot of what we talked about way back when, you know, you'll see in some of the final uh, episodes of the series and then other endings were, you know, with characters that, that, you know, we fell in love with over time and, and uh, th there was a lot to figure out, but, you know, uh, this felt like the right time. And just because we're ending Cobra Kai as, uh, in this main story, you know, as we were landing all these characters, we thought about, you know, are, are we uh, landing them in ways that are endings of this story, but could be starts of more stories to come. Yeah, the the reason Cobra Kai has been so successful is because it's not just uh, the Karate Kid for our next generation. It's also a continuation of the Karate Kid for our generation that grew up in the 80s watching this show and or watching this movie. And 
you know, what we do on Cobra Kai is take those characters from the original movies and learn more about them, get deeper in. We have so much more real estate with the TV series. And we've done that with all the original characters, you know, from Johnny and Daniel, you know, to Crease. You know, why, why is Crease the, the person that he is? Well, this whole series, we've been seeing parts of his backstory. We continue to see that in season six and learn more about uh, the mentor that Crease had that turned him, you know, to uh, to Cobra Kai. Um, but we also see even characters that, you know, don't exist anymore, like Mr. Miyagi, who passed away. We're going to learn more about Mr. Miyagi in season six. We've really been waiting for the final season to get a little bit more information about Mr. Miyagi than uh, than we've had. Uh, Daniel, you know, was going to find um, something that Miyagi kept hidden in his house. And within it is all these, uh, you know, parts of Miyagi's life that Daniel knew and it was really fun coming up with that story and uh, learning more about that character. We worked with the cr- the creator of Karate Kid, the original writer, That's Robert awesome. Mark Heyman, nice. to, to talk about the backstory of Miyagi. So we have a lot <laughs> planned for Miyagi's backstory, and you'll learn more about him in season six. And that's part of the fun of the show. That sounds amazing. Guys, again, congratulations on season six, part one. And thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Great. I appreciate it.